On the 12th of July, 2023 at 1 a.m. UTC, the Chinese commercial company Landspace accomplished an unprecedented achievement in the world's launch landscape. It successfully sent into orbit for the very first time a methane-fueled rocket, the Jutra 2. And while this medium-lift expendable launch vehicle is not necessarily a game-changer from a technological standpoint, it absolutely reshuffles the deck in the Chinese launch landscape and highlights the growing role of commercial companies in China. Let's review. Over the past eight years, there's been roughly a dozen Chinese commercial launch companies, all striving to develop liquid-fueled rockets, somewhat similar to what we're seeing in other parts of the world. In China, the first major milestone was reached in 2019, with the first successful orbital launch of a commercial rocket, the Hyperbola 1. But since then and until today, commercial launch has been limited to these small solid-field rockets and at low launch cadences. However, with the latest achievement from Landspace, 2023 is clearly a turning point for China. Landspace is now the second Chinese commercial company to have successfully launched a liquid-field medium-lift rocket, behind Space Pioneer who did the same in April 2023 with its Tianlong-2 launch vehicle. With six tons of payload capacity to low Earth orbit, the Jutra 2 is a massive upgrade to China's commercial launch fleet, and this may continue with the maiden launch of the Gravity 1 solid field rocket, currently being developed by a domestic competitor called Orion Space and scheduled to debut by the end of this year. Landspace is now aiming for three to four launches next year. Now, if you combine that with the other scheduled launches in 2024, for example, the six to eight launches of the Series 1, at least one confirmed launch of the Gravity 1, six of the Kinetica 1, the ramp up of the Tianlong 2 and the Hyperbola 1 rockets, and theoretically the maiden launches of the Hyperbola 2, Nebula 1, and Tianlong 3 rockets, we're possibly looking at at least 10xing the amount of payload that was launched by commercial rockets in just 2022, so barely one year ago. You can clearly see how this year, aka 2023, is a historic pivot for Chinese commercial launch capabilities. 2023 is also a turning point for Landspace, which will finally be able to commercialize its launch services and generate revenue. And this money will definitely be very welcome considering the company's fragile financial situation. The last round of funding was back in 2020, and since then they have not generated any significant income since they abandoned the development of the small solid field Jutia 1 rocket back in 2019. And this precarious situation is obvious when you compare them, for example, to fellow domestic competitor Galactic Energy, which has been selling Series 1 launches, they've raised funding as recently as January 2022, and they've already announced a next round of funding for the coming months. But obviously, the recent success of the Jutra 2 will likely reassure investors who may now be much more willing to put additional money into this company. And more money land space will definitely need. The company has been developing a reusability technology center in Wenchang with an objective of operating reusable rockets in the future. They've also been upgrading their TQ-12 Methlox engines to enable the throttling and restarting capabilities which are necessary for vertical landing. It's unclear if Landspace will now engage in large-scale modifications of the existing Jutra 2 to make it recoverable, as it's been suggested in previous animations, or if reusability will apply to Landspace's future heavy lift rockets. And in this regard, the Hainan Commercial Launch Center mentioned in a document recently that its future pad number two would be compatible with a mysterious Jutra 3 rocket. And the fact that this hypothetical Jutra 3 is launching from a coastal launch site of Wenchang rather from the landlocked land space owned launch site in Jiuquan suggests that this move could be for reusability and notably for the recovery of boosters at sea. And finally, as I mentioned early on in this video, the Jutra 2 is the first ever methlox field rocket to reach orbit. There was a bit of a race going on over the past 12 months between the Jutra 2, Starship, and Relativity Space's Terran 1 over which methlox field rocket would succeed first. Now, these three rockets are very different, and so I think this achievement of the first methlox rocket is not necessarily the most meaningful, but it's still definitely a nice trophy for land space to bring back home. So what are your thoughts on land space and do you think this recent success will change the game vis-a-vis -vis other competitors? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I want to thank my two dozen patrons who support me on patreon.com slash dongfanghour and on YouTube memberships. Please consider supporting the channel if you're enjoying and getting value out of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.